Hello guys and welcome, it is that SW2 Dude here today bringing you yet another Splatoon 2 video. Today we are going to be doing a patch comparison on version 1.2 and version 1.3. Version 1.3 being the latest version for Splatoon 2 uh, by the time of me making this video. So without further ado, let's get into it. So starting off, we have the great Trisosha nerf in this first clip in 1.3. You're going to see that there is a decreased range by 9% for the Trisosha. In the next clip, you'll be able to also see that the Trisosha is only doing 52 damage uh, per hit. Now, it's a great thing because once you're on higher ledges, the Trisosha can now only do 3 shot kills uh, opposed to the 2 in version 1.2. Now the next patch is the Stingray, it's more of a buff. Uh, as you can see in one, version 1.3, there is a large shockwave over the Stingray. And you'll also notice that in one, version 1.3, uh, the Stingray lasts a half a second longer. The next special we're going to go through is the Splashdown. As you can see in this example in version 1.3, the Splashdown now does 55 minimum damage on its shockwave. I also want to mention that the splashdown is now 10 frames faster. So as you can see in version 1.3, I come down much faster than version 1.2. This example is also to show that the splashdown goes 31% higher uh, than in, in version 1.2. Now the Inkstorm special received a little buff, uh, the radius has been increased roughly around 13%. As you can see in version 1.3, the circle is much bigger compared to version 1.2 and you know, it's just really nice to see. So the next special is the baller. The first thing I'm going to show you is its minimum splash damage now. It is now at 55% and it also spreads a little bit more ink. Uh, compared to version 1.2. Now the baller's patch notes are really hard to reenact and actually to show a comparison on as well. But basically what it means is that the baller is half a second more durable if it's being attacked by an enemy, considering I can really be attacked in version 1.2 considering the head already patched. I was not able to reenact this. But just to let you guys know that the baller is more resistant and can knock back enemies when it explodes. The next special is the Inkjet. Now, as you can see in version 1.3, I am not getting any splash damage on the dummy. This is because in version 1.3, the splash damage has been reduced by 17%. You also notice that it doesn't paint as much. Here you'll see another example that I now need to reposition my crosshair in order to actually hit the dummy in splash damage. This is actually the furthest range you can hit a dummy now in version 1.3 using the Inkjet. The inkjet's exhaust damage has been greatly decreased as well. As you can see, it takes me a really long time in version 1.3 to actually take out the dummy using the exhaust of the inkjet. Now there was a big nerf to ink armor and basically if you were to shoot someone that has ink armor and you destroy their ink armor, they will lose their invincibility frames 8 frames faster. The enemy also receives a huge knockback if you have inflicted 100 damage towards them. The maximum amount of damage that ink armor can now absorb is 80 damage. Now there are a lot of interesting things due to this nerf that allow charges to actually have the upper hand on ink armor and I am going to make a video explaining all of this in great detail tomorrow. So the next thing we're going to talk about are the sub-weapons in Splatoon 2 that have been patched. Uh, first of all, the Sprinkler. It is 10% more ink efficient now. And the next one is another one for the Sprinkler. It's a little bit lengthy and a little bit complicated so if you don't understand it, so I'm going to go with it through you. So the Sprinkler has three stages. At that first stage, you saw that the Sprinkler was moving really fast. Now you can see it's moving really slow. And now you'll be able to see in 10 seconds, it will move very, very slow as you can see right then and then. There. So as you saw, the sprinkler has three stages. So we're first going to time the middle stage. Uh, the middle stage is the semi-fast uh, sprinkler uh, spout stage. So as you can see, timing it, it should be about 10 seconds long. And this is what they have actually buffed for the sprinkler, that the middle stage for the sprinkler actually lasts five seconds longer. So as you can see with this one, it's going to go through the fast stage really, really fast. It's it's going to be spurting ink everywhere. And as you can see, it slows down. It's in the middle stage and this should be 15 seconds. Now, I'm not going to do the exact times and the exact frames. I'm just showing you guys that, hey, this was 10 seconds. And now in this version, it is 15 seconds. As you can see, the sprinkler gets very, very slow right then and there. Now, here's the comparisons of 
the both version 1.2 and version 1.3 as well uh, to see you know i guess the the full picture of how they look uh, in these comparisons uh around about now you can see the sprinkler in version 1.2 gone to its slow stage and now in version 1.3 now you can see it's gone to its slow stage as well so the next ones are pretty simple. The splash fall is 0.5 seconds faster when being deployed. As you can see in version 1.3, it came up faster. And you're also going to see that it's going to end first as well in half a second. So the next one is the point sensor. As you can see in this picture, it has an increased radius of 20%. And as you can see, the, you know, the thing is a lot bigger in version 1.3. Also, I want to note is that when you throw a point sensor, you'll be able to recover ink much faster in version 1.3. Uh, as you can see, the little gray bars going down in version 1.3, it goes down first, and which means that you'll be able to recover ink straight away. And the last one is the squid beacon. Pretty simple. It is 15% more ink efficient. As you can see from the two tanks, you have more ink in version 1.3. So to end this off, I feel like I should give a few of my thoughts. Uh, firstly, the tri slusher you guys pretty really much know. I've already kind of said my thoughts about the tri slusher uh, It's a lot more balanced now. I, I like the fact that it's now only 52 damage. And basically, if you are in an engagement using a tri slusher you have to make sure that you are leveled uh, with that other inkling. Because if you're using the tri slusher to take out people from a higher ledge, it's going to be much harder. And it's not going to be as easy as it was before. Because it wasn't a thing where you kind of just fling around ink all around and just expect the two shot. It's a three shot kill if you are on a higher ledge. And they have made the damage pass perfect for that. Talking about the range again, I feel like the 9% decrease is perfect. It's not too long or not too short. Uh, talking about in the last video again, I felt like from Splatoon 1, they just kind of gave the tri extra range that it didn't need because it was perfectly fine in the first game. It didn't have any uh, like range problems and you know, people who used it were perfectly fine with it. So that's why in Splatoon 2, I felt it was a little bit strange because it just had extra range for pretty much no reason. I think the buff for the Stingray is really interesting. It's much larger now if you actually hold uh, on to the ZR button. I definitely feel it's going to be a really effective tool in very narrow areas or very narrow levels such as like poor macro or something like that. Also I do feel weapons like Splashdown are going to be much more viable uh, especially the splatter shot just the regular one in general. Uh, the Splashdown goes much higher and it comes down much faster and so people aren't going to expect that because you're going to go up in the air faster than you usually would. So it's going to be like you zip up and then you just land back down straight away. So definitely weapons that have splashdown are getting a, a big benefit from this. The ink storm gets a nice buff, just a little bit wider, you know, gets to paint just a little bit more. Definitely going to help weapons like the Splash Up Pro and the Elia and the Carbon Roller uh, just to little, paint a little bit more with the ink storm. The baller buff seems really interesting as well. I feel like it's going to be much more viable from uh, compared to version 1.2. Definitely weapons like the 52 Gal are going to benefit from this, uh, considering now the tri is now nerfed, so 52 can actually have some sort of fight uh, within those types of 1v1. And definitely because of the baller as well, it's going to help it be more sturdy and be more effective when it explodes as well. The inkjet seems more vulnerable now and I feel like people are going to have to be more skillful than ever before with it considering the splash radius isn't as wide as it used to be. It can't paint as well as it used to as well and its hitbox while in the air is bigger so gotta be really careful against charges and long range weapons with this now. And last but not least ink armor. I definitely feel like it's still going to be strong. A lot of people are going to be using it still like no doubt. Ink armor is one of the strongest specials in this game. It definitely has a few things about it that makes it weaker especially with charges and I'm going to explain this in, in a video tomorrow because what I have found out is actually really interesting. The rest of the patches are just a bunch of sub weapon stuff. The sprinkler is going to be a lot stronger. It's going to be able to paint just a little bit more because of the middle stage uh, lasting a little bit longer. Splash wall is going to be stronger because you know it comes out half a second longer. The point sensor is a lot stronger. The 20% radius increase is just like Splatoon 1 I believe and the squid beacon just being a little bit more ink efficient. So pretty much those are my thoughts. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy this video, please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch, both in the description below. Do it for both of your feet and generous. And as always, guys, this has been that SRB2 dude. Stay tuned for that Ink Armor video. It's going to be coming out tomorrow. There's going to be some things that are going to really, or maybe twist your mind a little bit. But it's going to come out tomorrow, so look forward to that. With that being said, hope you guys have enjoyed, and I shall see you guys in a future video.